Hello everyone, my name is Susan McKillig and I am an Early Years Lead Officer based in a nursery class setting in Fife. As an Early Years Lead Officer, my main role is to work directly with the children to contribute to closing the attainment gap. Working on the nursery floor alongside the Early Years practitioners, supporting high quality interactions, planning, sharing and implementing strategies that can help break down any barriers that children may have to their learning. In my session today, I hope to showcase how children's interests with superhero play can be promoted with helicopter stories to support their individual next steps in learning, as well as help to scaffold their interests into other curricular areas. The session will mainly highlight one child's journey and progression and how it has supported aspects of their literacy, communication, language and mark making, as well as increased confidence in drama. Before sharing other case studies of how helicopter stories has supported children's health and well-being through making sense of their world, how it has also supported children with English as an additional language, as well as children's social and emotional development through taking turns, listening and showing appreciation of others. I hope you all feel how the children within my setting totally embedded helicopter stories. My journey into helicopter stories occurred through a networking opportunity with an early years pedagogy in another local authority, who after we had had a conversation about superhero play and trying to channel and scaffold the children's learning from this interest, basically self-taught by reading Trisha Lee's book, Princesses, Dragons and Helicopter Stories from cover to cover. Trisha Lee did in fact write the book for that purpose in mind, so that helicopter stories could be shared far and wide for early years establishments and primary schools to implement into their settings. Although I am self-taught, there is training available for settings if you have the funding through the charity Make Believe Arts Helicopter Stories On Demand. Other professional learning undertaken to support my journey I have also listened to podcasts, webinars and videos from the charity Make Believe Arts and Helicopter Stories Online to gain further insight into how to implement helicopter stories, as well as reading putting storytelling at the heart of childhood practice, which has many chapters that can be used as a reflective guide, as well as podcasts and further reading that looked at the benefits of superhero role play which also touched on the topic of early years children role playing with guns and weapons. At this point, it would be interesting to know if in your own settings, if you embrace superhero play or find it challenging. So what are helicopter stories? Quite simply, the children are invited to tell your story and it's written down exactly as they say it. You then confirm what character they are playing in their story. For instance, if it's Spider-Man. Also, if there are other characters involved, you further clarify how many characters, how many bad guys. After all the children have told you their story for you to describe, you then act out the stories, preferably on the same day, on the stage marked out with ma masking tape. If there are other characters in the story, by going around in a clockwise manner, inviting the children to play a character helps to eliminate any gender bias with every child being offered to play all parts. Although you scribe their stories and narrate their stories as, is, as exactly as they have told you, however, when you are prompting them to act out their story, you would always say the correct grammar. For instance, the child might say, the monster ran away. You could say something like, can you show me how the monster ran away? This also provides opportunities for pr practitioners to promote and model a rich language experience when asking the children to show you how the characters in their story acted. For instance, I wonder if you could show me how Superman jumped or how the fairies played with their friends. Superhero play is forever present in our setting. As a result, we have built up a small bank of resources which we have used in direct response to the child's interests and through our intentional planning to implement provocations, which has supported aspects of their learning and also to gain more depth into their interest in superhero play. For instance, through reading superhero stories and using props, the children can speak at length about how superheroes are also kind and relate everyday super strengths to their own lives. In addition, how everyday people and animals can also be superheroes. 
However, for a small number of children, it was really all about their hero, Spider-Man. The pool of fighting and killing the baddies, the physical aspect of running, chasing, hiding, shooting webs, listening to them take on the roles of the characters in the latest Spider-Man movie and discuss who was who, usually all of them Spider-Man. As you know, are all beneficial to children's socio-dramatic play and how children can make sense of the world around them, as well as the physical and well-being benefits, for instance, being outside, their fine motor skills, gross motor skills, imagination, being healthy, etc. So for our setting, Helicopter Stories was a way of incorporating all of this and still following the child-led interest, which also enabled us to, to promote their literacy within the nursery environment. In the next two slides, I hope to highlight the first stage in the child's journey into Helicopter Stories, capturing his interest and knowledge of the superhero Spider-Man. In these three short months, Helicopter Stories highlighted a confidence in his firstly taking part from telling his story to the adult to scribe, then entering the stage and acting out his stories in front of his peers, and also playing characters in his peers' stories. In addition, you can hopefully identify a progression in his narrative, for example, at times becoming more descriptive, using more action words and adding in more characters. Going forward at the beginning of Term 3 in January 2022, although this journey began with a focus on a small number of children, it was also acknowledged as part of our nursery improvement plan to increase literacy attainment through listening and talking. However, after introducing helicopter stories in September 2021, it soon became apparent for most of our children it quickly became an embedded part of their everyday. So much so, it did generate a lot of work and at times difficult to keep up with. Therefore, I discussed with the children how they would feel, as well as being the author and the actors in their stories, if they would now like to illustrate them also. As seen in the slide, it shows the speech bubbles in our original floor book and then how the children began to illustrate their stories. By asking the children to illustrate also gave me more time to hear and scribe their individual stories, as well as an opportunity to tune in more to their interests. For example, when drawing their illustrations, they would listen to each other and share events and stories from their everyday lives. As well as providing children with more opportunities to mark make, I was on hand to hear the meanings of their drawings. And from the onset, some of the illustrations did marry with their stories, but not always. At the same time as the illustrations of the stories was introduced, other observations and discussions from the staff team. It was observed that some children were not really engaging in any other nursery areas apart from their quick visits to the art area, sometimes up to a few times a day where they would tear a piece of sugar paper, then they would sellotape it to their t-shirt. It was their web shooter. Then they would return outside to resume their roles as Spider-Man. The following slide highlights how using the Leuven scale of engagement can help to event identify how much children are engaged in aspects of their learning. Using Leuven scale highlighted for some children, this engagement was low, particularly in most areas unless Spider-Man was involved. Low, the child shows some degrees of activity, but this is often interrupted with limited concentration and the child is, is easily distracted with limited results. After some input, there were clear signs of involvement, real concentration, and the child feels challenged and motivated. The child's capabilities and imagination are addressed to a certain extent, in that they began to spend more time at the art area, as you can see from the following slides. By being able to spend some quality time in discussion with the children about Spider-Man, then searching for images of, of Spider-Man online, Already you could hear their excitement, sharing stories of what movies they had seen, what costumes they already had, what costumes they were going to get next. And just by taking this back to the art area and again involving them in what resources they required, they were taking charge of their own learning and effectively planning their next steps. 
Therefore, as well as spending more time in the art area, exploring and creating his Spider-Man costumes, the child was also beginning to illustrate his helicopter stories with drawings of Spider-Mans and at times the other characters in his story. Using the examples of what you might see young children doing in their drawings, for me the next few slides display the progression in the details and features of the child's drawings, as well as an increase in his vocabulary and language. Hopefully this slide helps to identify the journey and progression the child has been on through his drawings when illustrating his stories and identifies how his attention to detail on his Spider-Man costume has also evolved. Before leaving nursery at the end of June, the child was also beginning to take an interest in trying to write all the letters in his name, using his name card. In P1, he is now writing his name independently without having to use his name card or trace the letters. And his Spider-Man logo is still visible in his school workbooks. The remainder of the slides hopefully highlights how Helicopter Stories was embedded into our setting by the children themselves and share how it has helped and supported so many children in different ways. In her book, Trisha Lee also talks about One Word Stories and again, this child, although it is mostly English that is spoken in our home, it is a dual language household, where you can see how her confidence grows from being able to enter the stage and its description of how she acts on the stage, as well as how her stories have evolved, seeing lengthier narratives and structured sentences. The next two slides hopefully, hopefully capture how this child has used helicopter stories to work through and express her fears of being separated from her carers, as if trying to, to make sense of it. This next slide illustrates the progressions in the child's drawings, as well as writing her own name independently. Her stories no longer focus on being separated from her carers, and continue to this day to be about unicorns, love hearts and sparkles. As previously stated, initially Helicopter Stories was introduced for a small group of children. However, they really sparked the interest of many of the children in my setting and I hope the next few slides can highlight the end of the possibilities to help promote child-led interests that also supports their communication, speech and language. This slide highlights, again, the stages of drawing, as well as how some children can relate their stories to their real life experiences and how they recognise and name their emotions. This slide provides examples of what you might see children doing when beginning to explore mark making and the stages of their journey. This next slide highlights how the children are making a connection that the function of writing is to convey meaning. In this next slide, as well as showcase the child's emergent writing, I have also included their narratives, as well as a description on how their stories are acted out on the stage. This illustrates their understanding of their own stories and that of their peers when acting out their stories. This next slide highlights how the children relate their stories to their life experiences, as well as taking pride in their own achievements and those of their peers. Realising the ambition being me 2020. Literacy can be attached to everyday learning experiences and opportunities. Warm nurturing relationships help to open up communication and connect literacy to the child's life. Literacy experience should weave, build and grow interests, vocabulary and knowledge. Literacy learning should enc encourage children to see themselves as readers and writers through purposeful experiences which build on the way that children use literacy. For me, that is helicopter stories. As already stated, these are the benefits associated with using helicopter stories. Real life experiences, social and emotional development, making sense of their world around them by expressing their emotions and fears, 
sharing space, listening to others, taking turns, respect for one another. Connections with stories, writing, drawing, retelling and inventing their own narratives, performing, physical activity, imagination and creativity. Our evaluation of helicopter stories. Through taking ownership of the process, from collecting their resources, building their stage with masking tape, or collecting loose parts for their audience seating, making effective use of their own environment and space. The benefits have already surpassed all expectations, having seen a progression in all areas of the literacy benchmarks, listening, talking, enjoyment and choice, tools for listening and talking and creating texts. This also includes reading and emergent writing, as well as aspects of understanding, analysing and evaluating. Within their health and wellbeing, Helicopter Stories has promoted the children's personal qualities as it has helped to support their overall emotional, social and physical wellbeing, in addition to gaining confidence in drama and expressive art. Here I have listed the possible experiences and outcomes that can be achieved by implementing helicopter stories into your setting, as well as a list of references and CPD undertaken. This next slide highlights why we do what we do for all our children. Children who never have a story read to them, who never hear words that rhyme, who never imagine fighting with dragons or marrying a prince, have the odds overwhelmingly against them.